Hello everyone and welcome to a new game we're going to be playing here on the channel. This is Human Resource Machine, <laughs> another one by Tomorrow Corporation. They made a Little Inferno which we played yesterday, that game was a lot of fun. Look at this guy over here waggling his arms around, so silly. This game is uh, another sort of puzzly type game. It's based on programming though, like you use programming to solve the puzzles. That might sound a little bit boring or dull. Believe me, it's not. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's jump into this. We need to select an employee ID. I do just want to say before we get started here, if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll be doing another daily episode tomorrow. And that's just a great way for you guys to support me and me to give you something back in return. Because this game is one of those ones we can do daily. So let's jump into it. I have your photo here somewhere. Which one is yours? Uh, I'm going to be this little chappy right here. <laughs> Yes, that photo looks just like you. It does. It does. It looks exactly like me. And my name's Employee One. What are the odds of that, eh? <laughs> Here is your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. Okay, let's do this. We are in the mail room. And can we have a look at all the levels? That oh my god. So many levels. So much fun to be had here. And there's an end. End program. Congratulations. Let's go back down to the beginning and, of course, play the first level. Here we go. Mail room, year one. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. <laughs> your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Okay, that's good. If we need help. So, we've got to write a little program here that's basically going to control this guy and get him to do whatever we are instructed to do. I do believe it says it right here. So, drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So, take from the inbox put it onto the outbox and of course you can do it the wrong way around if you wanted to let's press play and watch him work so into out and then the program ends not enough stuff in outbox management expected a total of three items not one so let's step back and debug the problem is is that our program ends doesn't it okay so let's go back here and just do that a couple more times BAM! Like that. So now it should take all three of the items and put them all into the output. That's terrific. <laughs> and there we go. Look at him go! Whizzing back and forth. Awesome. Love it. And that's it. I think we've done this first level. Wow! That wasn't so difficult, was it? I bet you it's going to get tougher. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Let's continue to the elevator. Ah, so this is like the floor of the entire building. Excellent. The floor. The floors. You know what I mean. <laughs> Busy mail room. Year number two. Well, looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here is your new assignment, which is to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. You've got a new command. You can drag jump arrows to jump to different program lines within your program. That sounds really cool. So... We go inbox, then we go outbox, then we jump. Do I get to drag that? I click on it to drag it. Then we jump back to the beginning. So we're going to do that forever and ever. And it says load, and then I reckon it says program. Can we... What's that one do? <laughs> Let's press that. I think that might have stopped it. Is that like a pause? I think it's a pause. Let's speed this up. Oh, wow! <laughs> that is very, very fast right there. Terrific stuff. And we did it! Another one! Our second year, and we're moving up to the next floor. We're going places. We're going places really fast. <laughs> Copy floor, year number three. Let's have a look at this. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken, but that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Okay, ignore the inbox for now, and just send the three following letters to the outbox. Uh, outbox. <laughs> Bug! The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If, you were, if there were only a way, you could pick them up. Right, so we are ignoring the inbox, right? Ignore the inbox for now. So we are copying from... Copying from number four, because we're sending bug. Yes, that's correct. Uh, then we put that into the outbox. Right, and then we're going to copy from... From you. Go to the outbox. And then we're going to copy from... The G right there, number three. And then go to the outbox again. And that is our program. And now we're going to see it in action. We're going to speed it up a little bit here. Bam! Bug. Excellent. Flawless victory. <laughs> I like it. 
Your presence is requested on the next floor. Let's continue to the elevator and climb up once again. Scramble handler. Let's see how this one plays out. You number four. <laughs> the conveyor system is fixed. That's good. They're just in time for you to get to work. Did it take him a year to fix it? <laughs> the data won't collate. Collate? Wow. That's a word I've never heard before. Collate itself. I don't think I've ever heard that word. Brilliant. Uh, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox. In the reverse order. Ah, oh, okay. Repeat until the inbox is empty. So we have to... Oh wait, just grab the first two things from the inbox. So we grab something from the inbox. Then we're going to copy it to a space here. So let's copy that to space zero. Right, and it was only the first two things. So then we're taking from the inbox again. We're putting it in the outbox. Then we're copying from zero, which is where we stored the first one. And then we're putting it in the outbox again. Is that correct? We've also got jump here. Do we need to do that? sure. Repeat until the inbox is empty. That's important. I think that means we need a jump and then we need to do that. Let's see how this one plays out. Again, we're going to speed up this little fella. <laughs> Look at him go. Excellent. He's doing the work. And I think he did it successfully. Oh yes, he did. Incredible stuff. <laughs> Year number four. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Well, we better get up there then. We've got a rainy summer ahead of us, but first of all, it's time for some coffee. <laughs> oh, I remember this. I have seen other people play this game. It's funny. Look at this little group here hanging out, <laughs> drinking some tea, <laughs> looking derpy. To work, everyone. <laughs> Was that a year-long coffee break? Oh, let's see. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh! I think we're having a power failure right here. Oh my! Hope that doesn't interrupt with our puzzling. Let's do rainy summer, year number six. Ugh. <laughs> Welcome to my personal rain cloud. There's rain outside. I was never good at math. Since I have only three fingers on each hand. Oh. <laughs> but I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result into the outbox. You get a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. So we need to take something from the inbox. And then we need to add them together. So I think we have to copy to a tile. And then we have to add zero. No, we would, we would then pick something else up, then we would add whatever's in zero to it, and then we would put it on the outbox, and then we would repeat the process with... Oh, no, 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 you go up there. I do believe with... Um, yeah, it's going to overwrite copy two, I think. Let's see, let's see this in action. So we put something down on zero. Well, starting off with a zero isn't the best way to know that it works, but he appeared to do some sort of addition there. So now he puts a 7, that overwrites it, that's good. And the 4, that should give us 11. Kablam, excellent. That appears to be working, let's speed it up. Do that extra fast. And we've done it. Let me do it again. We did it again, excellent. Number 6. Year number 6, rainy summer, excellent. <laughs> okay, let's continue to the elevator. Okay, so we can go... Do you know what, I would like to do all of the different missions, I think. So what we'll... Nope, I clicked on that one by mistake, so we're now doing this one. I was going to do the branch on the left, but whatever. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully not here. <laughs> well, ten years. I have a note from your other boss that says, From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. Send all the things that are not zero to the outbox. You get, you get a new command. Uh, it jumps only if the value is zero. Okay, jump if zero. So what are we doing here? We are sending all things that are not zero to the outbox. Okay, so obviously we start off by picking something up. And then we want to check to see if it's a zero, right? So if it is a zero, do we then jump to inbox and he'll just pick something up and throw away what he's already got? I think that's how it works. Let's read that again. Send all things 
that are not zero to the outbox. That that looks right to me. That feels a little bit too simple. Why have we got this thing in the middle? Oh! Not enough stuff in the outbox. Management expects a total of three items, not one. Aha! <laughs> I was, it's funny, like this, the reason that didn't work is extremely simple, um, we just need to add a jump command right here. I was just looking at that thinking, uh oh, I didn't understand this at all. No, we, we got it, we just needed the jump at the end. Yeah, that really confused me for a second. Doesn't want any of those. Blam, there we go. Yeah, because it said it wanted free, uh, free items and that kind of really confused me. We've got something else going on here. The size challenge. Use four or fewer commands and a speed challenge. Oh, and we got both of those. That's terrific. Let's go back to the elevator then. And, well, that was good. We are flying through these. I would really like to do this one here. And look, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 probably. Let's do them in that order then. Tripler room, year number eight. Who are you? <laughs> this optional area is for high performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. <laughs> Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Didn't they just say that last time? For each thing in the inbox, triple it and the outbox. And outbox the results. Self improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high level decisions to management. So we have to triple something. We have to, of course, pick it up. And then I think we need to copy it to... I'm just wondering, am I still holding it once I've copied it to that one? Or can then I just add what's on that one and then add what's on that one again? I'm worried about like it disappearing after a particular step, if that makes sense. Either way, we would have effectively tripled it there, so then we would want to drop it in the outbox and jump all the way back to the beginning, right? Let's see what he does. He does it! He tripled it! Amazing! Oh, that worked first time. I'm so pleased. So very, very pleased. <laughs> awesome. That is really great. Okay. And we can we can speed this up now. We've seen exactly what's going on here. Kablam! Do that work super fast. And we did it. Nice. Oh, we got that one. Did we get the other one? Oh, we did. Very nice. Alright, let's continue back to the elevator. Let's do level number 9 now, Zero Preservation Initiative. You can actually, I think, choose to do the other one first. Oh look, we've got the little two lights next to things. So I could go back and do number 2 again. I'll we'll probably do that in between episodes. <laughs> zero Preservation Initiative. Let's have a look. It has come to our attention that the Zero... Ad... Advocacy? Advocacy? <laughs> I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, the, the zero thing, community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to you. So we're looking to only move the zeros there now. So we're going to pick up something. If it's a zero, then we're going to jump somewhere, right? We're going to jump to sending it to the outbox. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to think about the flow here. I think what we want to do is put a jump here that goes back to the beginning. So it's like inbox, if it's not a zero, it's going to go, actually, no, let's go back to the inbox again, right? Then if it is a zero, we want to put it into the outbox and start all over again. <laughs> Loads of little wires going everywhere. Let's find out. So, he chucks it away. Oh, <laughs> we don't even need to talk about it. It worked. That's terrific. I like this game so, so much. <laughs> and we're off to a great start here. Year number nine, the Zero Preserve <laughs> initiative. <laughs> and uh, we got, oh, 28 on that one. We could have done it in a few less steps, apparently. That's fair enough. I'll probably come back and correct that in between episodes. That is probably going to be it for this one. I know it's a shorter uh, type of video, but I'd love to see some... Some feedback from all of you on what you think about this. So 2,000 likes on this video and I'll do another daily episode tomorrow. As always, thank you so much for the support. And we'll be back, most likely, because you guys are epic, <laughs> with some human resource machine tomorrow. This game's terrific. Um, yeah, I love it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.